give y'all just a second to get in here. I'm gonna sneak a video in before work this morning. I didn't get home to about nine o'clock last night and had to deal with some stuff, so no video. So let me get this straight. Day 10, captain's log. Day 10, no water. No water. Day 10. I just got my hair did in Pearl. They got water. Got it this morning. Came to my barber over here in Pearl. I take my hoe bath first. Bo boiled a pot of water. Got a couple hot rags. Did my thing. Came on. Still got my hair cut because at least I could feel a little bit better about myself. Get the beard lined up. Get my hair cut, put a little gel in my hair. Got some fresh gel, got some beard oil from my barber. I mean, I might not ever get to take a shower again at my house, but at least I can make my hair look pretty. So, you got, oh yeah, and we got a porta potty at the house. Shout out to McGraw Rental. And they also own Gotta Go. Crystal finally had enough yesterday and snapped and ordered the biggest porta potty that they had available, which is like the Super Pooper Deluxe Edition. It's in our garage. It's nice. It's nice. Nicer than any business that a porta potty has been. But uh, with that said, um, this is some bullshit. I'm tired. This video ain't brought to you by nobody because I'm about to cuss and I don't want to associate that with any of my sponsors. But this is some fucking bullshit. You know, and it ain't just the fact that we don't have water. It's the fact that we ain't had water for 10 days. And there was no plan in place for having water, for dealing with an emergency. You know, like my patience can go a long way. Because I think when you live around here for 40 something years, you're used to some bullshit. It gets to a point where that bullshit starts affecting you and your family a little more and a little more and a little more. And then you, all you got to do is look five miles any direction other than Byram and they got water. There ain't no point in this. We got murder. We ain't got no water. We got more murder than we got water in Jackson. Make it make sense. That's what y'all always tell me when I say stuff. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why y'all keep electing these fools? 30 something years of this bullshit. Make it make sense. But you idiots. Then you got Antar and Stokes going back and forth. Like, like they MySpace beefing. Is it entertaining? Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna be sitting here in the pits of hell, you know, I might as well be entertained while I'm here. But it's it's embarrassing. Got Antar rolling everybody under the bus but himself. You got Stokes doing a press conference in a white stackable plastic chair in the middle of a pothole in Georgetown. I mean, that's a, with a Stokes hat on. Like, we don't know it's Stokes. That's a meme in and of itself. Man, it's just embarrassing. Nobody can tell you anything. Then you got Tate Reeves coming through like the man of the hour. <clears throat> now, I was at work all day. Where did, did those big, uh, big tanker trucks, did they load the water system up and get it working? I still don't have a drop of water at my house. So... It, it didn't kickstart the water that goes to my house. Bunch of assholes, man. I'm tired of this shit. Again, if you got kids in the car with you this morning, you may want to change the channel or plug their ears. Ten days without a drop of water at the house. And yesterday got hot. And, you know, I don't want to gross anybody out, but we'll just say this. Uh, waterless sewer pipes start to stink a little 
As uh, Stokes said yesterday, house starting to smell a little like boo-boo. House starting to smell a little like boo-boo. Having to burn candles in places that I didn't know I needed to burn candles at. Got a porta potty in my garage. I had to take a hoe bath again this morning. Got kids at the house. And I know I'm not the only person. I just feel like I'm bitching for everybody here. This ain't about, oh, poor Clay. I'm all right. I live. I mean, it is what it is. You know, we were kind of prepared. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, one thing we did learn. We learned how unprepared we were. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video here soon about how to get through the next one of these things. Um, cause trust me, they're coming again. It ain't like they're about to fix the shit. Um, you know, let, let this be a nice dry run, <laughs> literally a dry run for, for how to handle this when it happens again. What do you and your family need to survive this next time without having to depend upon the city quite so much? I'm telling you, I, I think you need at least 5,000 gallons of non-potable water. I believe, is that right? Potable, non-potable. You need about 5,000 gallons of toilet and shower water that you can take that ain't got bacteria in it. Then you need, I would say, at least 20 cases of bottled water, the 40 packs, like from Costco and Sam's. Um, that, that'd be a good start for a family of four, I would think. And, and that's and that's being sparingly with it. But anyway, I'm going to figure all that out and, 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 and go. But I think we're probably going to be about 20 days without water. I can't imagine this shit getting fixed any sooner. I'll be shocked, as a matter of fact. You know, then you got this. That crap yesterday is embarrassing. And y'all can get on here and y'all can say whatever y'all want. <clears throat> well, Clay, you were always showing the bad stuff about Jackson. Make it make sense. Y'all always showing the bad stuff about Jackson. Yeah. The bad stuff, like the real stuff, bad stuff, the killing, the drug dealing, the empty buildings, the stuff that nobody seems to care about. I don't care about fixing, should I say. Then you get the clown show on there yesterday, or the last two days, should I say, pointing the fingers back and forth. Lion Lumumba, Dope Boy Lumumba, Kenneth Stokes. I mean, you know it, I say, I've said this before, you know it's bad when Stokes is right. And I know a broke clock is, is right twice a day, but man, I, I don't know, man. I, I just needed to vent for a minute this morning. I didn't want to sit on this all day. I ain't no breaking news here or nothing. <clears throat> I'm just pissed off. Pulled up to my house last night. I was in a bad mood. Just worked up. Not bad mood. Just tired. Pull up. I almost run into a damn porta potty in my garage. It made me smile. I was, yeah, that's a good wife right there, man. You know, surprised me with a porta potty. But if the, I want to say that's peak 2020, isn't it? But it's 2021. My wife surprised me with a porta potty in the garage. <laughs> uh, but look, man, if you need a porta john, this is a free plug here. They are not they are not sponsors or nothing. But if you need a porta potty, holler at Gotta Go or uh, McGraw Rental. Tell them tell them Save Jackson sent you. Man, look, y'all stay safe out there. Love you guys, man. I'm just trying to get through it without losing my sanity. Y'all enjoy your day. Share this video.